This is a Christmas special story titled The Christmas Tree Wish by Karen Inglis and Anne Swift. The story has been narrated by Rishi Gupta for Rather Listen A11Y. Enjoy and a Merry Christmas to you all. It was early on Christmas Eve morning when the snow began to fall, cloaking the rooftops and gardens, and landing lightly on the branches of the last few Christmas trees at Nether Willow Garden Centre. Not a moment too soon, whispered Penelope Pine, and she stretched her branches wide, sending clouds of snow dust into the still dawn air. Just in time, murmured Douglas Fir, and he reached tall towards the sky, sending a snowy waterfall cascading downwards. At last, boomed Cedric Cypress, and he coughed loudly, shaking snow from his needles. Still deep in his dreams, Little Bruce Bruce snoozed and snored under the warm white blanket of newly fallen snow. In his dreams, children hung bright red baubles and silvery stars on his branches. Wake up, Bruce Bruce, whispered Penelope Pine. Wake up, Bruce Bruce, called Douglas Fir. Wake up, Bruce, bellowed Cedric Cypress. Slowly, little Bruce began to stir. Then, as his dream faded, his eyes snapped wide to a sea of glistening white. It's snowing, he shrieked. So it is, said Penelope Pine, and there's no time to waste. Today is our last chance to find a home for Christmas. Bruce breathed in deeply ready to shake off the snow and show his branches. Then, with all his might, he puffed out. The snow didn't move. He breathed in again, more deeply, and puffed out one more time. But still his branches stayed covered in snow. Finally, he took one last enormous breath and... Oh! But now his head was spinning. Help, he cried. The snow's too heavy and I'm all dizzy. How can I show off my beautiful branches if no one can see them? Don't worry, said Penelope Pine. And she stretched out and poked Bruce's trunk hard with one of her branches. Little Bruce's tree trunk trembled and a few clouds of snow dust fell to the ground. I'll help, said Douglas Fir. He took the deepest of breaths and sent a howling gale in Bruce's direction. A huge curtain of snow dropped from Bruce's branches. Lost bit, boomed Cedric Cypress, and he bowed forward and brushed the rest of Bruce's snow away. Phew, thank you, said Bruce, feeling the warmth of the early morning sun on his shiny green needles. But then, oh dear, said Penelope Pine. Oh no, whispered Douglas Fir. Oh my, murmured Cedric Cypress. She's right said Douglas Fir. Just look at my silly bendy top. He's right, said Cedric Cypress. My branches are much longer on one side when I turn. See, I'm all lopsided. Besides, he said gently, you are still a beautiful tree. Bruce smiled and nodded, but he couldn't make his empty feeling go away. All day long, families came to choose their Christmas trees. Cheerio! Good luck, all! 
called Penelope Pine. Needles up, said Douglas Fir. You'll be fine. I can feel it in my branches, boomed Cedric Cypress. As the sun went down, little Bruce began to shiver. All of the other Christmas trees had been sold, and he felt very alone. Oh, how I wish I could find a home this Christmas, he said with a sigh. Then, to make himself feel less sad, he closed his eyes and thought about last night's dream. I found one, said the little voice. It's perfect! It's so sweet, said another. It's just like me, said a third young voice. Little Bruce's eyes snapped open to see three round faces beaming up at him. It's beautiful, said the lady standing behind them. Little Bruce's tree trunk filled with warmth. I think you found your perfect match said the kindly tree man. Merry Christmas all! Merry Christmas! called the children. Merry Christmas and thank you, whispered Bruce. Little Bruce Bruce's Christmas wish really had come true. Thank you for listening. Merry Christmas to you all and a Happy New Year!